uh, uh, proposal that I had put in and the way that this has been manipulated and I'm going to vote against everyone. So um, I think that they have handled it wrong. I think that what's left that's good can stand on its own feet. And I think that this, they have undermined the whole um, meaningful uh, function of this um, organization. So um, other than that, Lincoln, um, <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, so on the first one, the Sunshine Law one, um, i just like to hear your opinion on what this new I provision, what the change is between if we were looking at E, which allows for more members to be present at a meeting, on a practical level, what what conduct were we not permitting that we would now be permitting? It's, so I just... Um uh, thank you. Uh, good morning. Lincoln Ashida Corporation Council. You know, I hadn't uh, really looked at it closely, but just reading it right now, the first thing that jumps out at me probably is the report back requirement, right? That, that's not it. The, yeah, the reporting back requirement isn't. Yeah, in E, it has a reporting back requirement, but I don't, when I read I, um, that's sort of they can attend and speak. I'm not sure what, um, uh, notwithstanding anything to the foregoing, they can still attend. I'm not sure that that undermines well, the report back. Anyway, I just, if you want to take a minute and... No, I, I, I've looked at it. I think the two things that, uh, you, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, what I does not require is the reporting back provision, okay, mm -hmm. number one. And the second thing is I makes clear that you can actually, um, I guess, meaningfully participate in that meeting. You can talk, you can discuss, you can essentially deliberate what E, present E, is unclear of is it doesn't say that. It, one reading of E is that you can just attend. You can attend, you can sit there, listen, um, but you can't say anything. Then at the next duly meeting, duly notice meeting of the committee or the council, then you got to do the report back. We did that, I think, in um, one of the GMO ones, right, involving Ms. Eoff and some others. I takes it a little step further in my mind, and, and the plain reading of it, making clear, you can go, you can have a debate. You could, if say Ms. Poindexter's there, you're there, Ms. Willie, both of you can open, and Mr. Onishi and Ms. Ford, so let's make it four. You can go there and deliberate as it, like it was a council meeting and you can do that and there's no um, uh, two things are are absent in the I just from looking at it now number one I said already was the reporting back requirement and the second thing is the minutes requirement there, there's no um, doesn't seem like there's any requirement that minutes be kept and minutes is a specific requirement of the sunshine law there's a separate standalone provision in the present sunshine law that requires minutes to be to be kept and available to the public 30 days after i exempting it may i'm not saying it will but may uh, you know some will say well it doesn't matter because the minutes requirement will uh, that standalone provision will apply to I. I'm not that confident of that because um, um, because look what it says, a community, educational, or other informational meeting. It doesn't have to be a Sunshine Board meeting. Ms. Um, Poindexter and I, a couple Tuesdays ago, we were out in Papaiko at a community meeting. Clearly, no verbatim minutes, or probably not, not even summary minutes were being kept. Under this provision of I, um, four or five of you could show up at that meeting, have an open debate about uh, condemnation proceedings involving Papaiko Mill, and there would never be any recordation of what was discussed. Um, because because the Popeye Community Rural South Hill Community Association is not a sunshine board. Therefore there's no sun there's no minutes requirement. So not bad for just having read it for the first time. Right, not bad. Okay, okay. so um, as I see in in E 
<laughs> there can be no, you can speak, but there's no commitment relating to a vote. Y well, okay. in, under E, okay. I, I'm not even sure you can speak. It's it's ambiguous. Because well, it does say speak. Where, where does it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, may participate in discussions, including discussions among themselves, provided that the Oh, I see. Okay, yes. And yes. provided, but the limitation is no commitment to vote. You're not, like, announcing your vote. Yeah. And yeah. then, as I see it, the second thing, because it says in I, speak without limitation. Yeah. So speak without limitation would be contrary you, you, you could to go there. no commitment to vote. Yeah. And then the other is, um, I think a it's ambiguous how it would, have, would affect the reporting requirement, but that at least under one interpretation, it would eliminate, it would put this in conflict with the report back requirement. Okay, so um, thank you, Lincoln. That's oh, all. I mean, I would not f favor. I think that E gives us... Um, Okay, wait for her. Wait for Brenda. Okay. But I feel that E gives us the ability to go and participate, which some of us have at meetings, and speak, but not be, here's my commitment, what I'm going to vote, and does require that we come back and report to the to our constituencies that we did do this and that there are issues. So I feel that that rep uh, reporting back is good, and I think that being able to participate without saying what your vote is. I mean, I don't feel ultimately as human beings we necessarily have our vote down what we're doing. So that's the only limitation. So anyway, thank you very much. I yield. Okay. Ms. Ford. Thank you. I'm going to call on Lincoln in just a second. I want to make a comment. I've actually been a little bit torn on this issue because um, <clears throat> uh, there are times when you'll have an area that's going to have a meeting that impacts all of us. For instance, Drew and Karen and I all represent North Kona. Even if though mine's this big, I still represent North Kona. So if there was something impacting North Kona and we wanted to go to the meeting, even if we all kept our mouths shut, then we would be in violation no. of this. No. No. Hold on. Hold on. Because E says we can participate in the discussion, but we have to come back and report. Now, Pete and Angel and I went to a meeting once, and I had to sit out in the car because they were talking. I had to sit out in the car until Pete left the meeting, then I could go in so that we made sure. We, we were very careful not to violate. Go ahead, Lincoln. I know you want to say something uh, on that. I'm sorry, Ms. Ford, for interrupting. Uh, e is actually a recent addition to the Sunshine Law. It may not have been in place when, at the time that you, Mr. Hoffman, and Ms., Mr. Pelago were right. serving. Yeah. Right. And that's, that's what we got stuck with. So I, I really like E better now because now we can all go to the meeting that affects North Kona or wherever else we're going to be dealing with. However, I, I don't like E, which is the current law. I'm not, I know this is not about the current law. I'm just saying the fact that we can participate in discussions without the rest of the council you know, being there and not being agendized bothers me. Then when we get to I, when I first looked at this, I said, you know, this looks pretty good because we can go and we, to all of these different meetings. For instance, how about if we all wanted to go to the opening of, not the opening, but to testify in front of the state legislature on some horrible bill that's impacting our island. Um, we could go under E now and we could discuss it um, and that would be good and, and I don't have a problem with that. Here's where I'm having some issues. <coughs> One, the meeting we go to might be called a public meeting. I have seen public meetings where the organizers of the meeting only call their advocates to the meeting. It's not a real public meeting open to anybody. It's a very select few. And so I have a problem with that. Secondly, Lincoln has brought up, you did really good here for the first read on this, Lincoln, about not having minutes, you know, that come back from these meetings. Because I can tell you, community meetings, um, a lot of them don't have minutes at all. Board meetings sometimes are a little lax in their, their minutes or they don't come out for a long time. But here's the one, and does this mean that some of us on the council could go to a union meeting where they're having a campaign discussion and we're campaigning at a union meeting? Because it says without limitation. There are no constraints on this. And we all know what happened during the last campaign, and I'll just leave it at that. So 
as long as it's open to the public. Well, I'm not allowed to go to a union meeting. It's not open to the public. It's a very specific group of people that allowed in there. And I'm not allowed to go in because I wasn't on the, we're, we're on your side uh, to vote for you. So I was excluded from that meeting, even though I still think it's illegal. Um, so union w meetings would be included in this. And it doesn't have to be agendized. It could be a spontaneous meeting that we couldn't go to. The words without limitation are fraught with evil. And I don't think this is a good bill. The more I've thought about it, and I've received a few phone calls, and I want to thank the person and persons who have contacted me about this, this bill is poorly written. It is so wide open that it can be abused any moment of any day, and I will not be supporting this. Thank you. Okay. Any other discussions? Okay. So hearing or seeing none, uh, Mr. Clerk, let's do a roll call. Ms. Eoff? No. Ms. Ford? No. Mr. Illigan? No. Mr. Kanuha? No. Mr. Kern? No. Ms. Poindexter? No. Ms. Willie? No. Chair, Chair Onishi? No. Chair Onishi, no. You, Chair Onishi, you have zero ayes and eight no's. Okay. So one, one excuse. And one excuse. Yeah. And I just want to let the public know that uh, Ms. Mem uh, Council Member J. Yoshimoto um, is excused. Um, he couldn't be able to attend this meeting right now. Can you state the reason that he's not here and can't um, I, He's off island. He's off island. He's off island. Okay. Um, so let's go to...